right, we're down here at Auto Works. Uh, Sunny and the team have just finished installing our Universal Chiller on a E55 AMG Mercedes. Uh, let's talk to Sunny. See what he has to well, say about these, it. These uh, AMGs were supercharged back in their time. They certainly sent the best one. They were a very powerful car. They did suffer a lot of heat issues as the intercooler pump and fluid all ran with the radiator fluid. So what we've done is we've separated it and we've fitted an interchiller and it's pulled this thing right down. You can see the, the lines are frosting up there. So this car's going to perform crazily on the road. They are a crazy car to start with. Um, in their time they were quick. They still are a quick car today with a few small mods. So we're hoping to get some good numbers out of this. And you've also put this on a couple of C63s as well? We have, yes. We've had um, the chiller on some C63s. On, we've had it on our uh, customer's car that's run a 9. We've fitted the chiller, so we're going to go back out there and race again. We've also fitted it to a number of holdings, many holdings from HSVs, and had some great results. Um, the chiller certainly brings the temperatures down. And what about the installation? Like, obviously, we can't even see this. Once you close the hood down, man, we can see the chiller there. Yeah, I mean, the installs are, are pretty okay, but on this car, it was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. It's been the Mercedes very tight. We put together car, but we did do it. It can be done. Um, it's a lot easier on the HSVs and Holdens. Um, it's not as hard as it looks. Yeah, so, I mean, this especially, Mercedes have packed everything into that engine bay. Absolutely. There's no space left, but somehow you magically fit a chiller in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. We, we didn't know how we did it, but we did do it, yes. It was a challenge. Yeah. I mean, those temps are insane. Like, those pipes are oh, crossing up. Oh, absolutely This car just got to be crazy. I mean, look at that. Yeah. It, it's ice. It's not paint. It's ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sonny. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Sonny from AutoWorks and we've been working closely with Kirk from Forced Induction Interchillers and we've been installing uh, chillers on a variety of cars, on Holdens and HSVs but just lately we've been fitting universal kits to all different type of cars and this car here is a perfect example, it's an AMG E55 compressor it was a Mercedes built car back in 2003-2005 uh, comes from the factory supercharged, they were a very powerful car at the time, they still are and they had a lot of heat issues so this car's come to us and we've put headers, cats, merge pipe, uh, cold air induction, pulley, and then we've ran it up on the dyno. Then we've pulled it back off the dyno and we've installed a forced induction interchiller and we've ran it up again. Now, there's been a vast difference and improvement because the system runs so much cooler, so cold that the pipes frost. And if you come over here, I'll show you an example. So we've done plenty and one of the most powerful ones we did made about 358 kilowatts so this particular one made 328 with no chiller and now it's gone 396. That's in the top end here but if you look here there's a really vast difference and I'm going to go through with you how much of a difference that it's made on this car when we go into the averages. So the average torque has gone from 544 to 761 and the average kilowatt has gone from 176 to 246. That's a 70 kilowatt gain by putting the forced induction chiller on. And we haven't even finished tuning this car yet as we haven't tuned one of these with a chiller. There's still a lot more parameters that we are gonna tackle and hopefully take this car over 400 kilowatts. But I can tell you that I've driven this car on the road and I've been doing these cars for 15 years and I've driven some really powerful ones. I can tell you this car is really fast for a car in its time, what we've done to it with the chiller.